and welcome back. So I'm going to presume that you already have your DAW installed, whether it be Cubase or FL or whatever you want to use. I myself am a Cubase person. Uh, this is Cubase 7.5. Uh, this is the 64-bit version. It, it's my personal preference. Everybody's got a personal preference. Honestly, all the DAWs have their advantages, disadvantages. It really comes down to personal preferences to which one you want to use. I mean, you hear a lot of people go back and forth regarding which one is better and, and this and so and, and whatnot. Go with the one that you're comfortable with. Go with the one that works for your, you know, your workflow, and disregard what everybody anybody else has to say. So the first things we're gonna do is uh, we're actually just gonna cancel out of this for now because we don't actually want to get to a project quite yet. First thing we need to do is we actually need to to set up our audio driver and MIDI. So I'm gonna go into my device setup for Cubase. So here it is right here. So I have uh, a Sapphire uh, audio card that I use and so under the VST audio link here you can see that I'm using the Sapphire uh, ACO driver. It's generally recommended that you want to use the ACO driver provided by the manufacturer of your sound card. If you are using ACO, it's usually the best the best bet. And there are other audio drivers out there but ACO is generally, generally regarded as being the best for audio production. It's low latency. Uh, it keeps your CPU and your computer kind of dedicated and just to taking care of the audio. So go that route. On the other side of things, you have the MIDI, ins MIDI, import, uh, MIDI inputs, and here you can see all my MIDI devices hooked up. You want to make sure that uh, your devices are listed and are listed as active. So I'm actually using an Uno interface for my for my MIDI for my MIDI keyboard here. So as you can see it's visible, it's active, and it is selected to, to control all MIDI inputs. So make sure that that is all set up, that you've got the right audio driver set, uh, configured, and that your MIDI is listed. Obviously the input and the information is going to be a little bit different based on uh, what uh, MIDI devices you're using, what sound card you're using, if you're using an, ML an ML audio device, if you're using an RME device, whatever it may be. Just make sure that it has been properly uh, installed and that your DAW can list it, uh, can see it, sorry. Uh, and then once you're there, you're pretty much ready to go in terms of actually getting to a project. So that's going to be our next video.